While unexpected to some, contemporary art is not new to Vizcaya, the European-inspired state of industrialist James Deering. In addition to studying and acquiring historic artifacts, Deering commissioned several prominent living artists of the early 1900s to create a work for his elaborate winter residence in Miami. Artists, designers, and craftsmen such as Alexander Sterling Calder, Robert Winthrop Chandler, Muriel Draper, Gaston Lachaise, Samuel Yelling, and many others contributed to the creation of Vizcaya in the early 20th century. Their contributions added a modern element to a project deeply rooted in classical design. Today, Vizcaya continues to bridge the historic and the contemporary through its contemporary arts program, an initiative inspired by the dynamic, creative spirit that characterized Vizcaya's inception 100 years ago. Hi, I'm Joel Hoffman, Vizcaya Museum and Gardens Executive Director and CEO. At Vizcaya, it's always been our goal to sponsor site-specific projects. We have always sought to invite artists to really come to the organization, learn about our history, our mission, how we're trying to interact with our community and the sorts of messages that we're trying to communicate, and to create something that is distinctly for Vizcaya. When one thinks about an organization like Vizcaya and contemporary art, sometimes it might really be kind of natural to think about Vizcaya as a place that would portray either highly realistic landscapes or figural representations, but it's always been our goal to use this program to introduce people to new ways of seeing things. Introduced in 2006, the Contemporary Arts Program honors Deering's patronage of living artists and provides creative practitioners with the challenge of developing original, site-specific work in response to Vizcaya's physical environment, its history, and its place in the world today. Over the years, local and international artists have engaged with the state and added their own layers of meaning to the site. They have explored a wide range of subjects, including privilege and inequity, sexual and social identity, authenticity and appropriation, and the constant threat of nature in the subtropics. And their works have been installed both inside the main house and outdoors throughout the gardens. These projects have succeeded in different ways and to different degrees. Some works have been subtle, to the point of being overlooked by anyone not specifically seeking them. Others have been bold and demanding, but all manifestations of the contemporary arts program have embraced a site-responsive approach regardless of format, duration, and media. Since its inception, the contemporary arts program has really been focused on inviting artists that are kind of working in more of a conceptual space, but it's always been our goal to use this program to introduce people to new ways of seeing things, but really like to think of this project as something that does inspire different ways of thinking and causes our visitors to think about things in a little more complicated way. The Contemporary Arts Program has evolved over time, providing artists with useful development opportunities. Working and exhibiting outside of a studio, gallery, or traditional art museum setting while responding to a historic site has yielded thought-provoking, surprising, and even irreverent artistic experiences. It has revitalized our community programs and brought new audiences and attitudes to this national historic landmark and iconic Miami destination. We have thought about certain characteristics that we would like to see for the long term. And you know, I think there are really remarkable opportunities in the years ahead to think about how contemporary artists can bring works to Vizcaya, conceive works at Vizcaya that deal with such issues as equity and inclusion and environmental sustainability. How we can continue to identify Vizcaya as a place can really be a magnet for um, those in our community interested in contemporary art. As we continue to think about future editions of the Contemporary Arts Program, it is exciting to rediscover Vizcaya through new lenses, approaches, and talent. <laughs>